Turtle Crosby is making an eagle. He's made two Clydesdales as well. The farmer's hobby all started with a cheeky beer-drinking emu called Eric, who turned out to be Erica. In the uh, front bar of the Dark Peak pub, and all the, it was absolutely packed in there, and a bloke called Stoney out at Dark Peak had a pet emu, and the emu came into the pub, weaved his way around all the people in there, and then stuck his head in the schooner of the bloke that I was talking to. He had his back to it, he'd never even seen the emu come in. And he stuck his head in, spilt half his schooner, and he reached around to grab it, and he said, oh, who, who drank me beer? And everybody bar him saw the emu, and the emu just walk, walked out, and I said, no, an emu come in and drank it. And he, he, to this day, wouldn't believe it. And so that was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. And um, so when they had the Dark Peak Legends weekend out there, they wanted me to make an emu, so I made one out there, and that's still out there by the pub, and I've got the original one in under our veranda there. Turtle uses tools and bits of old farm machinery. A lot of farmers have said, oh, come up and you know, help yourself to our scrap heap, and, and um, lots of old fence droppers I've pulled out, and they've given me a lot of them. Some, you know, some things I'll buy, and, but a lot of things just given to me from other farmers. Look at tools and things different to what everyone else does at clearing sales, because I'm, I'm trying to picture it as part of an animal and they all want it, want it for tools. And, and just recently at clearing sales, they're getting dearer and dearer because people want to buy the tools and, and I want them for body parts, <laughs> for animals. <laughs> so. Made that first horse for our, it was just for a our driveway at our block in at Cleve and just for something there and I got a bit carried away with it and yeah, then that led to making another one and that ended up in Cleve in the main street. So I've always liked welding because I think when I was growing up on the farm we broke a lot of things and had to had to learn to weld and to fix it so Yeah, never, never had, you know, never been taught, it's just self-taught by, yeah, learn by your mistakes and you can cut it off and start again, so. I've always just liked the eagles and I thought I'll make a wedgie for a bit of a challenge. This eagle, he won't be able to fly. <laughs> He's, he'll probably weigh half a ton by the time I've finished it all, so because it's going to be on a branch and then a nest and all that adds to it. I like the antique stuff, so I'd sort of keep the real old ones separate. I've got a kind of a little museum inside with old tools and that, so anything a bit special I'll keep. I won't weld that on there, but yeah, there's probably a lot of really good tools welded to this eagle there, Sid Chrome spanners and good tin snips and that, but. Uh, I don't need them, so I'll weld them there. <laughs> oh, over the years, I'd just make tiny little things just for get not bored, but just fiddling around out here in the shed, so, yeah. He's hoping to exhibit Reggie the Wedgie. But for now, it's back to farming for this fledgling artist. <laughs>